from getting ignored for being too short to play basketball to becoming one of the best players in the NBA, the story of CJ McCollum is one that inspires hope in a lot of hearts. We're about to check out his net worth and lifestyle, but before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Let's get started. The rise of CJ McCollum in the world of the NBA is nothing short of amazing. He went from being completely unrecognized to getting the 10th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft. Let's take a look at how he got to the top. Back in high school, CJ was only 5'2 as a freshman, making him the shortest player on the team and even the shortest in his grade. No one thought he had what it took to make it to the NBA despite the work he put in at every practice. But his luck changed with a massive growth spurt in high school that took him from 5'2 to 6'3. Then he put in more work and started breaking records with almost 30 points in every game by the time he was in his senior season. However, it wasn't that easy to get people to believe in him despite his increased height. This was understandable given that he had so much to work on, especially his jump shot. Soon, he had spent several years perfecting his jumper and then finished at Glen Oak High School with more points than any other player. By the time CJ was done with high school, he wasn't considered relevant enough to even have a scouting report, and that made him determined to prove them all wrong. He picked Lehigh College, which was a great school, but not in the leagues of others like Kentucky or Duke. During the four years of being a part of their basketball program, he went from about 160 pounds, which made him really thin for his height, to getting a lot of extra muscle and filling out his frame to about 190 pounds. Right from college, this basketball player had an interesting style of leadership that encouraged other team members to put in as much effort as he did. It was just what the Lehigh basketball team needed at the time, especially since he led by example even as a freshman. It was during this time that he got all eyes on him and talks about him being a possible NBA prospect started. In those four years, CJ took the lead on the scoreboard every single season with about 20 points in each game. It had been a long time since the Lehigh Mountain Hawks had been that relevant and when the upset victory against Duke happened, where they were knocked out in the first round of the NCAA games in 2012, that pretty much sealed the deal. CJ McCallum drew national attention, and this was a major factor that contributed to him getting picked at the top 10 in his draft pick. He did what many people wouldn't have done, and that is spend all four seasons in college where he developed his body. The focus was being in top NBA condition, and obviously, his efforts paid off. Apart from the 2013 NBA draft class being memorable for Giannis, who was the 15th pick of the draft, and Anthony Bennett, who was drafted first overall, it was also a significant moment for CJ. CJ McCallum, who was picked by the Portland Trailblazers. He made history as the first ever player in NBA history to be drafted out of Lehigh University. This was way more than he had hoped to accomplish, especially since he had also taken his journalism major in college really seriously. The plan was to become a sports analyst if joining the NBA didn't work out. That was the level of professionalism that CJ had, which you can't find in a lot of rookies. Critics were surprised to see him get drafted by the players because they felt the team didn't need an undersized shooting guard. For the first few years, CJ was a bench player and finally worked his way into the starting lineup. CJ McCollum was out for the first few weeks of the 2013-2014 season with a foot injury, but made his debut in January 2012, where he scored four points. He finally got his season high of 19 points in February in their first win against the Minnesota Timberwolves. CJ's rookie contract got extended into the 2014-2015 season, where he scored a career-high 33 points against the Memphis Grizzlies. However, they lost this game. The next season was much better for CJ, as he also won the NBA's Most Improved Player honors with massive numbers for the team. In July 2016, the Portland Trailblazer extended his contract for another four years as a reward for his exceptional skills. In their defeat of the Brooklyn Nets, CJ had a career high of six three-pointers and then set a new one of seven three-pointers just a month later. Ever since he got drafted to the team, they have been to the playoffs every year, and that meant that CJ adjusted his game over time. He moved from being very good at shooting a lot of mid-range shots to moving more towards the three-point line. With this, his game opened up more, and in spite of the doubts he had to play through for most of his career, CJ McCollum had a unique journey, the late bloomer who went to the NBA and came out as a champion. Net worth, marriage, and family life. 
CJ and Elise Esposito had already been dating for about six years before they officially announced their engagement in 2018. Before the engagement, Elise got her bachelor's in behavioral neuroscience and her master's at Lehigh College. Then she went on to Columbia, where she studied to become a dentist. Still, she attended most Trailblazers games to cheer on her partner. In the fall of 2020, the couple finally tied the knot and have lived in Portland, Oregon since then. As the second best player in the Portland Trailblazers, it's no surprise that CJ takes home quite a lot as his basketball salary. From about 2013 to 2019, the star has earned about $60 million. Currently, he's worth a whopping $14 million. In 2016, CJ signed a four-year contract worth $106.6 million with Portland just after he won the NBA's Most Improved Player Award. Then, in 2019, he got another three-year extension with the Blazers worth $100 million. No doubt about it, this team understands the value in keeping a player like CJ for as long as possible. Possible. And this means that he will remain with the Blazers until the 2023-24 season. For the 2021 season, the star basketball player is earning almost $30 million, and there's every tendency that this will be way more by the time he's ready to move on from the team. That will bring his career earnings to more than $150 million by the end of the 2021 season. Apart from earning a massive salary as a player for the Portland Trail Blazers, CJ McCollum also has a few endorsements that bring in some extra, though. At first, he had a four-year endorsement contract contract with Nike, but after his contract expired in 2017, this wasn't renewed. Instead, he picked up a new deal with a Chinese brand known as Li Ning. CJ signed a five-year deal with this sneaker company and has since been rocking their sneakers at every opportunity. This deal brings him about $3 million annually. No doubt about it, they are really flashy, and he once wore the Li Ning Speed 6 on the court. Guess it's all part of the deal. How he spends his millions. Apart from a house in Portland, Oregon, CJ has another property worth about $1.6 million in Ohio. It is tastefully furnished with high-class furniture and a garage brimming with luxury cars. Speaking of luxury cars, CJ is a fan of collecting some of the world's finest cars, and that includes a Ferrari 458, a DeLorean DMC 12, a Ford, GMC, and Mercedes-Benz. However, he doesn't just spend on flashy items, but tries to give back to his community as much as he can. The CJ McCallum Dream Center is one of his products that focuses on being an innovative space for the Blazers Boys and Girls Club. This space is basically a learning center with lots of tools, including new books and computers, where the underserved youth can create, learn, and grow. During the global health situation, we witnessed how thousands of businesses had to be shut down overnight, and most of them haven't recovered from this. Even a lot of American citizens found it difficult to pay their bills due to the spike in unemployment. CJ McCallum noticed this and was one of the celebrities that contributed to the relief efforts. With his hefty donation of $170,000 that went to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Portland, metro area and the Akron Canton Food Bank, a lot of families had smiles on their faces for a while. Despite being a successful basketball player, CJ still has a lot of love for journalism and he decided to set up CJ's Press Pass directed towards local youth. By giving them access to mentorship from media members, various events, post-game conferences, and even publishing some of their works, this initiative will help in increasing their interest in journalism. Apart from this, CJ also spends a lot of time on his podcast. Pull up with CJ McCallum, which he hosts alongside Jordan Schultz. But this is not the only podcast that he gets featured in. CJ also makes appearances on Remaking America, a talk show series on social issues featuring interviews with community leaders, politicians, and other athletes. You can catch this on the athlete-owned media network, The Players TV. From the moment you step into CJ's home, it's not hard to see that he is a wine enthusiast. He took it a step further by setting up his own label, McCallum Heritage 91, which has the street he grew up in and the year of his birth. There's obviously still a lot that this basketball star can accomplish on the court, and we look forward to it. And there you have it. Here's everything you need to know about CJ McCollum's net worth, lifestyle, and how he spends his millions. What's your favorite CJ McCollum moment on the court? Let me know in the comments. And that's a wrap. Thanks for watching.